Dear students, welcome to my 7th class on module 1, Laplace Transforms. In this lecture video, we are going to discuss about the convolution theorem and problems on the convolution theorem. So first, uh, we will learn the statement of the convolution theorem. The convolution is a way of combining two functions. It is defined as follows. If f and g are two functions, then convolution is a function defined as f star g or f into g is equal to integral 0 to 1 f of t minus u into g of u du. For example, the convolution of t and t square will be given like integral 0 to 1 t minus u into u square du. Like after solving this one, we will be getting t u cube minus u, u power 4 by 4 with the limit 0 to t. So like applying the limit and simply find this will be getting 3 by 4 into t power 4. So now the convolution theorem of Laplace transform say, says that Laplace transform of f of t into Laplace transform of g of t will be equal to Laplace transform of f of t star g of t. The problems on convolution theorem. So first problem is verify the convolution theorem for f of t is equal to t and g of t is equal to e power t. So first we will be finding the values of capital F and capital G by applying Laplace transform for the given f of t and g of t. So Laplace transform of f of t will be equal to Laplace transform of t. This will be equal to 1 by s square. Similarly, Laplace transform of g of t will be equal to Laplace transform of e power t that is 1 by s minus 1. So therefore, Laplace transform of f of t into Laplace transform of g of t will be equal to 1 by s square into s minus 1. So now I am going to prove the RHS part that is f of t star g of t I am going to consider. So f of t star g of t will be equal to integral 0 to t f of t minus u into g of u du. So now I will be converting this f of t in terms of f of t minus u, g of t in terms of g of u. So we will be getting integral 0 to 1 t minus u into e power u du. So here the t is a constant after integration, uh, integrating this function so, we will be getting minus t plus e power t minus 1 after applying the limit. So, now I am going to apply the Laplace transform for this equation on both the sides. So, therefore, Laplace transform of f of t star g of t will be equal to Laplace transform of e power t minus t minus 1. So, by expanding this, we will be getting Laplace transform of e power t minus Laplace transform of t minus Laplace transform of 1. So, this will be equal to 1 by s minus 1 minus 1 by s square minus 1 by s. So, by taking LCM, we will be getting 1 by s square into s minus 1. So, by combining these two, we can say that Laplace transform of f of t into Laplace transform of g of t will be equal to Laplace transform of f of t star g of t. So, this formula is also can be written like Laplace inverse of f of s into g of s will be equal to f star g or it will be equal to integral 0 to t f of t minus u into g of u du. So, this formula will be applied to solve the problems in inverse Laplace transforms. Example number 2. Find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s into s square plus a square with the help of the concept convolution theorem. So now the first thing is we have to identify the functions f f and capital G. So always we will be choosing the first function as f of s that is f of s is equal to 1 by s and g of s will be equal to 1 by s square plus a square. So now I am going to apply Laplace inverse for this f of s and g of s to find the values f of t and g of t. So after applying Laplace inverse on both sides here, we will be getting Laplace inverse of f of s is equal to f of t will be equal to Laplace inverse of 1 by s that is 1. Similarly, Laplace inverse of g of s will be equal to g of t and into Laplace inverse of 1 by s square plus a square that is sin a t by a. So we got f of t is equal to 1 and g of t is equal to sin a t by a. So now the formula I am going to apply here that is Laplace inverse of 1 by s into s square plus a square is equal to Laplace inverse of f of s into g of s will be equal to f of t star g of t that is integral 0 to t f of t minus u g of u du. So after replacing this uh, f function and g function we got integral 0 to t sin au by a into du we got. 
the constant 1 by a I am taking outside integrating sin a u with respect to u and applying the limit we got 1 by a square into minus 1 minus cos a t is the required solution. Example number 3 find the inverse Laplace transform of a square by a square plus a square into a square plus b square where the condition is b is not equal to a. So this problem is the same like a previous problem only. So first we need to identify the values of capital F and capital G. So here f of s will be s by s square plus a square. g of s will be s by s square plus b square. So applying Laplace inverse for these two functions on both the sides. So we will be getting Laplace inverse of f of s is equal to Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square. Laplace inverse of g of s is equal to Laplace inverse of s by s square plus b square. So this will be equal to f of t is equal to cos a t and g of t is equal to cos b t. So now according to formula I will be converting this f of t as f of t minus u, g of t as g of u. So we will be getting cos of a t minus a u and cos of b u. So now taking the formula Laplace inverse of s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square will be equal to Laplace inverse of f of s into g of s will be equal to f star g. It is nothing but integral 0 to t cos of a, a, a into t minus u into cos b u du. So now to expand this one, I am going to use cos a cos b formula. So after applying the formula, we got the equation 1 by 2 integral 0 to t cos of a t plus b minus u into u plus cos of a t minus b plus a into u into du. So after integration we got 1 by 2 into sin b t minus sin a t divided by b minus a plus sin b t plus sin a t by b plus a after applying the limit. So by taking LCM and simplifying further we got the equation like 1 by b square minus a square into b sin b t minus a sin a t is the required solution for the given problem s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square by using the convolution theorem. Okay, in the next lecture video, we will be discussing about the applications of Laplace transforms. Thank you.